15 nanometer do for me from a form factor perspective. This is the Haswell Y product that was six watts and four and a half watts. And this is the Broadwell Y product. So you can just get a flavor for just how thin and small the 14 nanometer products become as we go to the next generation chip technology. Here in front of me is something directly out of the labs. And so what I wanted to do is just show you Broadwell is going to enable two different kinds of devices. One, you can plug the chips directly into the existing systems. And second, we'll have brand new systems with a broad new range of fanless designs. So what I've done here is I'm normalizing a Haswell Y-based system and a Broadwell Y-based system. And I'm going to run Cinebench, which is a CPU-intensive benchmark. And so performance normalized, just so I can show you the benefit of what 14 nanometer is already delivering without a lot of tuning. We're seeing a, up to a 30% power reduction at the same performance levels just by moving socket compatible from the Haswell to the Broadwell without even uh, a lot of performance tuning that we'll do in the next month. So we're really, really excited about where 14 nanometer is and the power it's going to deliver for fanless core-based systems.